We're back. It's happening again. It's 999 again. Hello. Welcome back to Rainy Day Let's Play when we last left off. <laughs> the credits rolled. They rolled. They just kept rolling. And then they said, the end. Or is it? And there was like an ellipses. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. We, I literally talked about this with folks and I was like, okay, so I beat the game. But somehow I still have more questions than I got answers from the ending. Man, they got me good. So, yeah, we've got a whole other half of this game to look at. Half. I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of this means. I don't know what I'm looking at literally right now. Because... We're back here again. We're back. And, uh... I don't know if I have to play through all this again, or if... June pay if anything changes as we go through this again. All I know is that what you are going to see as part of the Let's Play is going to be radically different than anything that we've seen before. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. So, like... It's shake... If I have to do all this again, that'll be like on my side. You won't see any of that. It'll be very, very easy for you. Um, but I think I can just skip through all this. Right? Wait, it, it stopped? I think I can just go straight to the flow menu. And go to the four and five doors. Can't I? Right? Right? I thought we were Is time an illusion? Is this a, is is reality just a construct? Is this what we make of it? What is real? But then what should we do? Oh, you. Ace, you son of a bitch. We should talk it through. Oh, none of these people oh even God, know. Enough. All we're doing is talking. Santa, are you not zero? God, I still have so many. Talking won't solve anything. <laughs> here. Really sure you want to just sit around? You've only got seven and a half hours left. God, You're it's seven and a right. half hours of game sure. again. Well, Ugh. Correct. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. There's so much. Who's going? To Who's going through which oh, yeah. door? Uh, all eight. Last then time we went through number five. We'll have to split up. This time. We're going through number four. Wait, I'm telling. Come on. Call me. So oh, Santa, not you too. Nobody wants to go hey, in man. the bloody bits. Yeah. So I get to go with all of the uh, the girls who I normally don't get to hang out with. Can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? Oh. What? Don't worry. We... How do you know? Because I do. <laughs> Snake, it's not gonna be all right. It's not an answer. Oh my God, these two don't really get to see each other after this, do they? Oh my god, they don't even get to see each other after this. Going, Maybe we can change I'm it. Maybe we can change I'm the future. Maybe we can fix this. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I... Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital root will be five. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, seven yeah, yeah. Plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root... Oh, it works perfectly. That the four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? It's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be uh four. Eight plus three plus the digital. It's four. Add up. I love it. They even do the. Uh, they faded out the ones that I picked before. Seven. Because I've already chosen those answers. <laughs> They're doing the dating sim thing. Really We're deep in the dating sim. Good. Beyond door five is. I know. Of course, if I would. I, so I'm choosing to I, not. Should I stop that? Go into the blood and guts of the gore. <sighs> I wonder if that makes sense contextually. We talk about this every single time that we um play a dating sim, but I always wonder what kind of uh. What do the, the the options that I choose contextually say about me, the the character, and the player? Because I specifically chose the fifth door the first time, it meant that I was looking for answers to questions that I had. Fourth door 
means that um, I'm avoiding those, right? So the direct approach that the fifth door took me somehow, maybe that somehow relates to the ending that we got with uh, the whole game. So like, I'm just thinking in my head, because we were so direct with looking for answers as opposed to escaping is why we didn't escape. The last time we played this game, we ran out of time and Zero was very, very disappointed. So like, maybe if we skip all of that fluff, I'm Junpei doesn't get hung up on a whole bunch of like details like, oh, dying people. Um, maybe that's an answer to, to, to surviving, Where right? You, right Snake? So the door's not going anywhere. as we continue so, through this, I wonder if we can contextualize some of our choices based on the last uh, ending that we got. Don't fall, we'll be fine. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's yeah, to me and Santa Claus are going to hang out and bro it up and it's going to be great. No weirdos over here. I just need to stay by her side. Yeah. Yeah. Me not staying by June might have been what made her so sick. I wasn't able to take care of her. I don't know. I don't know. That's what we need to figure out. So how will this change the future? Like Ace and the others are going. Uh, Let's get in there. Also, we get a new puzzle. Also, we get a new puzzle. So like, good. Bip, bip. Bip, bip. Bip, bip. This is so, this is so rote for me now. It's just like, all right, fingers yeah. on. Goodbye. Be careful. That's not our door. That door is gross. Ooh. Icky door. So horrible. Oh, Clover's gonna go in there. Ugh. Ugh. Ick. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Yo, we're all gonna die if we don't touch the Snake, dead soon. Your shoes. Gross. It's fine. Hur or are you planning on dying with everyone else? <laughs> I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? <laughs> and we Sorry, talk for like 45 minutes. Let's go. Hey, well, how is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? We should be able to hear the beeps. Uh, yeah. Something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Spooky. Do you think they're okay? Wouldn't you hear a bunch of beeps then in that case? It'd be four beeps. You'd hear everyone's stuff beeping. Uh. Hey, there it is. That's gotta be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. <laughs> we gotta do the beep boops. Okay, good. We're all good. Ta -da. It's their first time, but it's like my seventh or eighth. Hey. Yep, we're fine. Hey, it's kind of cool seeing it from the other side. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the red was red? Mm-hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Red is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. And it's just on the other side. I'll Super easy, guys. Super easy, babes. Awesome. Well, we should probably move on now. Look, they're all working together. Be careful out there. Oh, I just realized I put Ace and and Snake and Clover all together. Right That's back. not good. <laughs> That's really ungood. But Hey, as long as Ace is outnumbered, it's like the now it's it like the wolves right. and the sheep problem. You know where you gotta have two sheep and one wolf cross a river together, but if you keep a wolf and a sheep on the same side together, that the wolf will eat the sheep. And it's that I'll kind of situation. First. As long as Clover and Snake are together, Ace can't get to them. Right, right, right. Okay. I hope. We ready? Oh, yeah. I hope. Sure. All right, That's everyone in. All right. I'm so happy that this doesn't pressure me anymore, like it did last time. Go, guys, go! The little extra drama they give you. Achoo! It's counting down. Skulls. There it goes. Crunch. We can't go back. No, Santa. We need to hurry and find the device. You've been paying attention. Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh, no. How many rooms do you think there are? Oh, that's so much more threatening. Uh, fuck. 
We don't have time to count. We just need to open... Okay. It's not moving. Then go to the end of the hall, guys. Oh. Chill out. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Let's see. One. Silly billies. Zoom. Hey, how seconds do we have? Motion blur on the picture. Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that's, that's nine times there. nine. That's nine squared. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry. It's been like it's 15 dead. seconds, guys. Come on, everyone. There. Y'all good? Are you good? You feel better? It wasn't that bad, was it? Let's try this one. So one of these doors is gonna have a puzzle in it. Hey! What's this mark? No, not and now let's get to the explaining all the keys and doors. The sun. The sun, Mercury, sun. Saturn, Earth. And... At least that's what I'm assuming. Yep. So this... I think so, yes. Not a man symbol. I see. Wait, where's Santa? You think there's bathrooms in here? Yeah, so... I don't think they ever established uh, if there's any bathrooms. Is... Here's the deal. None the shower the room. Open. There's the shower room. Then that must mean. <laughs> what? If someone loses Having their alibi because they left to take a leak. That's my. That's my next level nine 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 like scenario setup. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go take a leak. Number. I had to go to the bathroom, and uh, I guess a murder happened behind me. I really don't know. The door on the left has a B ninety two. Mm, my favorite band, the, the B92s. Ah, oh, my second favorite band, the B93s. Right. They're both here in concert. Open I'll open B92. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, I'll get B93. Ah, oh, you sunk my scout patrol. One, two, three. God, Battleship is like the best worst game. Like out of all the Milton Bradley hey, ones, it's the it best opened. at being the worst. <laughs> There's so little happening, and it's just completely luck. <laughs> yeah, it did. I uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. We did it. We escaped. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. I like hanging out with Lotus. Let's find it. I already love this. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. I've already made, I've already made so many, this is such forward progress right. compared to what was. Okay. Yeah. New puzzles. <laughs> nice wall. All right. I feel like we've, we've seen everything. We've seen everything that the uh, place has to offer. I think this will be a breeze. This will be easy. Room 92. Oh. By the way, Jumpy, mm -hmm. how did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? Oh, right. We actually get to, like, talk to someone with real talk. There was a man with a gas mask when you inhaled some white when you woke up. Damn straight. <laughs> you you really got it. You were extremely right, actually. Is really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No. Why would I? Ooh. Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hmm. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? <laughs> oh, I don't know, June. Maybe like well, a whole lot of stuff I, that I I'm know. still really Anything. suspicious about. I, you're hiding it. How would I know? <laughs> you mean like the number of men I've dated? Oh, June. See, she's putting up all these smoke screens, and I don't like it. That's that, that's what makes this worse, is whenever she's just like, Oh, I've got a fever now. Actually, I can't talk about that right now. Do you want to know? <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. That's nine times two! And nine is the special number! <laughs> Time zero. Ah. Uh, arithmetic killed me again. <laughs> yeah. I guess I just haven't met Mr. Right yet. I can't. 
Everything that June says sounds like something is coded here. Do you mean Mr. Truth? Because that's where we're at right now in our head. I can't handle June right now. I literally just, I personally can't handle June in the setting of 999, even though none of this means anything. Because I feel like it means everything. I was on D deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? I'm pretty sure Zero just picked us school. because he know, or they know, or whoever knows, Zero just knows that June wants to ride Junpei's D deck. Hmm. Like, I wonder. He's Zero. Zero is making this game where they're like, I've got to get back against the pharmaceutical CEOs, but also I want to ship someone while I'm doing it. Look for what connects the victims. <laughs> <laughs> it's just self-serving fantasy booking, like, just planning out, like, ah, I want these two to fall in love. They they lost love long ago. <laughs> now I can make it right inside of my murder game. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. What are you I saying? I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. <sighs> I guess it could. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh. Well, oh. if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, oh, I can barely remember any of them. Oh, this is cute. This is funny. This is silly. Also, what a what an aside. What a just <laughs> big freaking distraction. I wanted to see this little vase over here, but it's not in the cards. Okay, so we're gonna get to do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with the, each other. The details that we talked about the first time, but with this time with June. Hmm. Do you think this this boat is a replica of the Titanic or the actual Titanic? A replica of the Titanic. A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Uh, rich weirdos! Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. Die hard Titanicers. No way! Do you even know how much money that would take? No, but all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Maybe don't do that. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. God. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Yes! It's the site of the worst accident in history. It may not. It's not really the worst accident in history, but like... Over 15 yeah. people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. Rich people, man. They don't give a fuck. Jumping. <laughs> Do you believe in that sort of thing? I do. Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so. I, to a certain extent. Don't curse me, uh, please. What about you? No, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. I like the question so far. The things that I've been making choices on are yes, like... I do believe in curses. Really good. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Oh, absolutely. It was the rich people curse. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Ooh. Flavorful, June. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. Ah, we're gonna get the mummy at the end of this. Good stuff. Pyramid. Good stuff. Yes, let's get into they the weird the occult shit. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Oh, this is a totally different flavor than the last Come route. On, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? Duh. Oh my god, Junpei. So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right. That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. She was really good at her job. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Mmm. Pretty? Yes. Mm. But it, she was a mummy. A pretty mummy. Well, you got a problem with that, Junpei? That's right. Can you be a little more progressive? She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. <laughs> Did you even see the newest mummy? Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? 
The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? Yes, saponification. Saponification. <laughs> oh no. How is that going to come into play here? They don't just drop this stuff in without it mattering. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. During the gear puzzle, the uh, Steam Gears puzzle, we did get that whole rat story. Huh? That was more metaphorical than literal. That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? She was real American lady. They say oh. that she was Or she was frozen. frozen. What? what? Frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. Yeah, but that means the other 40% was decaying. The story says that from the Ugh. time of its discovery, even all right. though it was... All right, we're done, crazy. June. We're done, June. That's crazy. So too, but maybe it's true, and we just didn't know about it before. I and she just know. kept cool. Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Okay, June, you re you really lost me on this one. Huh? Nah, that seems too silly to be true. What is she but talking maybe about? It isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Maybe mirrors. Maybe mirrors aren't the truth. How can mirrors be true if our eyes aren't real? Guys? <laughs> How is. <laughs> All of this is objective reality. <laughs> All of this is subjective. <laughs> None of this is real. We're all looking at a different game here. Well, if yeah, if um... there was an objective reality, then every Let's Play would be the same, wouldn't it? Obviously, duh. Ice that doesn't melt. Even this was a desert. bad choice. Does something like that this, really exist? Returning to this video game was a bad choice, guys. Even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Hmm. Junpei's like, I'm gonna think on this more. I've got some thonkins to do. It's light, even if it's heavy. That's light! Thanks to it, we can see. All right, let's uh, look in the case. Whoa! Got a little, got a little wonky. How can mirrors be true if our eyes aren't real? Hey, we don't have time for that hair stuff. Oh my god. I'm reading this and I'm like, June is literally making a come on to Jumpy. And she's, she's just not getting it. Tough crowd, June. Tough crowd. You're not even trying to, like, fool anyone here. <laughs>